Hey everyone, Eva Thompson here. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about how to stop feeling hopeless if you are struggling with retroactive jealousy. Now, RJ is a very emotional thing to go through. It doesn't necessarily always logically make sense and therefore it can lead to either feeling misunderstood by the people around you, so maybe friends and family don't understand it, your partner doesn't understand it, they tell you that it's just in the past, you know, what's the problem? And you also might get really frustrated with yourself when you're getting these thoughts and these feelings and everything is in the past, nothing really is affecting your present or your future, but yet you're getting these strong emotions and it can lead to you being hard on yourself, you getting frustrated with yourself, and obviously this doesn't help the situation and doesn't make you feel very hopeful. Um, when it comes to overcoming it. There are some people out there that have made peace with the fact that they have this, they avoid triggers, they don't talk about it, and they are happy. And that's fine. If that works for you, do that. Do whatever works for you. Today I want to talk to you about the two reasons that I believe people with RJ feel like they will never be able to overcome what they are going through. The first reason is believing that you need to accept, understand, figure out, approve of, know all of your partner's past in order to overcome RJ. You might believe you have to agree with everything they did, you have to like what they did, you have to accept it like it's yours, approve of it all in order to be okay, which isn't the case because yes, I understand that someone's past can tell us a lot about who the person is, but people with RJ look for who their partner is or could be in the future in their past more than they do in the present. So instead of looking at the values and beliefs your partner has today, because that's the second reason I was going to bring up why people believe that they can never overcome RJ, it's because they feel like they can't be with someone that has done this, that or the other. They have different values and beliefs. But again, you're looking at who you were with in their past, instead of looking at the values and beliefs they have today, how they feel about you today, their goals going forward, who they want to be, how they act around you, how they treat you, how they talk to you, their actions and their words, do they align in their relationship today? Are they showing you they care about their past? Are you showing you, are they showing you that their past might be a threat to you or your future? These are the real questions you need to be asking yourself instead of digging in their past and trying to figure out all these details in order to feel okay. Mainly in this video, I wanted to talk to you about how the mind learns by repetition and the mind lets in what you tell it. So if you tell yourself, I will never overcome RJ, and you don't believe that it is possible for you, then it is gonna be very difficult for you to leave these feelings and thoughts behind. It will take work. It will take a lot of self-reflection. It won't happen overnight. You might need to ask for help, but you can overcome it if you really want to. And the two main things to remember is that you don't need to accept, agree, like, understand, everything that they did in their past. It's more about becoming indifferent towards it, as in understanding that it doesn't affect your relationship or your future with this person today. Yes, again, like I said before, there is the argument that, you know, who someone is today, you can tell by their past and it's relevant in some way, but RG sufferers look for who their partner is in their past instead of looking at who their partner is today. And secondly, something that you struggle with is values and beliefs, believing that, oh, I could never be with someone that's done this and this and this. Do your values and beliefs match today? Because people are allowed to grow, people are allowed to change, people are allowed to learn and figure things out and want to do things differently going forward. And if you're not going to accept that, then it's it might be better to leave the relationship. If you're not gonna allow your partner to grow and evolve and change into a happier, better version of themselves, then that is a problem. It's more understanding, knowing, and feeling that it does not mean anything about your relationship, 
who you are as a person and what you want your future to look like with your partner. This is what people with RJ do without even realizing they attach some sort of meaning to their partner's past, which then causes their body to go into this fight or flight and have this big emotional reaction. So they feel like their partner's past is a threat when in reality it really isn't. Again, there's exceptions if you're in a toxic relationship, if your partner keeps bringing up their past, if their past really is a threat, then this video is definitely not for you. But because the majority of the people that I talk to are in relationships that are not like that at all, partner loves them, they want to be with them, they don't care about their past anymore. Some people have even been married for 40 years, 30 years, and the RJ sufferer is struggling with things that their partner did before they even got married or maybe when they first met. 15, 20 years ago. This video is more for people like that, where you've been struggling for a long time, you feel hopeless, and on some level you might feel like you need to accept the past, agree with it, or understand it in order to be okay. There is nothing to solve, there is nothing to understand, there is nothing to figure out in order to allow yourself to be happy and be present in your relationship today. So guys, I hope this video helped you. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you think, if you've got any questions, and I will see you next time.